Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is find all anagrams in a string. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview question on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says given a string s and a non empty string p, find all the start indices of p's anagram in s. String consists of lowercase English letters only. And the length of both string s and p will not be larger than a given number. The order of the output does not matter. So if you look at example number one, we are given with the string s and we are given with string p. We need to find the starting indices of anagrams of p in s. And if you look at the output, which is zero, if you start from here, c, b, a, we can form c, b, a from a, b, c. And if you look at c, we can form b, a, c from a, b, c. So that's why we have zero and six. So let's move on to the pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. And the question is asking us that we need to find the old starting indices of anagram in string S. Let's first of all talk about what is anagram. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of different word or phrase. Let's see how we can get all the indices from S. So what I will gonna do, I will going to take the length of P, which is equal to three. And now I will gonna use this length in S to form a window. So I will gonna form a window of length three. I formed a window of length three because we need to find an anagram from this string. That means the anagram will also be of length three. That's why I taken the window of length three. Now I'm going to compare this window with this and I will check. Can I form my anagram in this window? And if I see, yes, I can form CBA from ABC. So, okay. Then I will store the starting index. Then what I will going to do, I'll going to slide my window to the right by one. And what I mean by that, that now my window will become this. I will increase by one in the right and I will decrease from the left. Now again, I will check this window with ABC. Can I form BAE from ABC? No, I can't. Again, I will gonna slide my window to the right. All right, so now my window will become a, e, B. Now I will check can I form A, B from A, B, C. No, I can't. Then again I will move. Now I come to E, B, A. Again I will check can I form E, B, A from A, B, C. No, I can't. Then again I will move. Now my window will come to B, A, B. And again we will check can I form B, A, B from A, B, C. No. Then again I will gonna move my window to right by one. Now my window will come at ABA. Again, I will check. Can I form ABA from ABC? No. Then again, I will gonna move ahead. Now my window will come at BAC. And can I form BAC from ABC? Yes, I can. Then I will gonna add my starting indices of the anagram. Now again, I'll gonna move my window to the right. And can we form ACD from ABC? No. And here our string ends. So that means this will gonna be our solution. Now the question is how we can implement or how we'll gonna check whether this string and this string form an anagram or not. For that what we can do, I'll gonna take two dictionaries or you can say counter in which if you take this example, so this is for S and this is for P. I'll gonna store A, B, C with its frequency. And again, I'll gonna store C, B, A with its frequency. And if these both are equal, then I will gonna add my starting indices. 
and when i will gonna come here ba i will gonna delete my c and i will gonna add e to it again when i come to a e b again i will check whether i have b inside or not then new element yes i have that means i don't have to delete anything now again i will come to aba now again i will check do we have all the elements in our s ticked yes we have that means we don't have to add anything because we already have e b a now i come to b a b i see i already have b but in this part we have two but in this part we have two b so i'll gonna increase my frequency to two and we i will delete e and again i will check it's not same again i will move to a b a i have a with frequency one i will make it two and i will reduce the frequency of b again i will gonna move ahead b a c now again i have b with frequency one i have a with frequency two so i will make the frequency of a to one and i will add c with frequency one now again we have s tick and predict with equal numbers and equal frequency then again i'll gonna add six in this way i can check whether a given window form a anagram from p or not so when we are making the dictionary and when we are modifying our s dictionary we are doing three things either we are adding a number either we are deleting a number or we are decreasing or increasing the frequency if the frequency is equal to 1 and we have to move ahead and in the new window we don't have that number we will simply gonna delete it and if the frequency is more than 1 let's say 2 and if we have to delete suppose a has frequency 2 in this window let's say this window but now we are moving to a b c in that case i will simply gonna decrease the frequency by one whenever i will gonna find my anagram i will gonna append the starting indices to my to my result array so let's see the code if you look at line number three i have taken string s length and string p length which is equal to length of string s and length of string p and if the length of string s is less than length of string p then we need to return empty array because if the string s is lesser than string p that means we can't form a anagram at that line number seven i'm using counter so p count will store the element of p with the element and their frequency and i have taken s count which is empty for now i made a result array so then i've taken a for loop in range of string of length s and i'm adding all the values in this range to the s count and and at line number 14 i'm checking that suppose you are at fourth index you are checking if the frequency of 4 minus 3 if the length of p is 3 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 that means what we are seeing in the example if the frequency is 1 and we have to remove that element we can simply delete that so we are deleting that element else if the frequency is not equal to 1 that means we are more than that frequency in that case i am reducing the frequency by 1 suppose if we have the frequency 2 now we are reducing the frequency by 1 and if p count is equal to s count means both of the dictionaries have the same element and with the same frequency i am simply appending the index and how i am getting that i minus string of p length string p length is the length of my string p and this is also gonna be the length of our window so that means i'm checking the first point of my window that's why i'm using plus one and at the end i will simply gonna return 
result. So let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got accepted. So this was the solution for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.